2011, and it was a Donald Roy Heikinen. He was the chief of police of Hancock. Okay. Well, anyhow, back in the day when the, this was first reported, it says that over the Labor Day weekend, um, six people were out fishing, and uh, about 150 or 200 yards from shore, and then the boat tipped over, and there's no indication that people were wearing a life vest, and it says also that, uh, where's the sheriff's, this is Sheriff Willis, so there was no, he had no indication Monday evening that drugs or alcohol played a role in the incident. So I'm trying to find out, um, you know, how did that actually happen? Did they ever find out? Oh, by the way, was anyone cited for that? Because I don't think... 
no indication that drugs or alcohol played a role in the incident. And then, like I said, the, this guy Brian Crumpke, or Crumpke, you know, I did a little search on him, and if he's the same guy, it appears he has an extensive record which involves a certain liquid beverage. And uh, I guess that kind of makes me suspicious that, uh, you know, that part wasn't uh, looked into more. You know, so that's why I'm thinking that it's easily possible that uh, there might be some sort of liquid beverage found in the um, blood alcohol of, or the blood alcohol content of Heineken. Or Heikinen. I can never pronounce it. Yeah, Heikinen. So I guess that would be why I'd be interested, because like I said, it was never ever mentioned again how he died in any of the papers. And I've looked through the West Central, or the Morris Sun Tribune, and I was reading out of the Star Tribune, and you know, usually that's right in there. You know, cause of death. In fact, I was just reading.
was in storage or what? Uh, no, we have it right here. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so once we get your request, then we'll um, get whatever info we requested on there and, and um, 